I would like to thank Craig Jarrett for sending me this story that is coming out of Florida. You knew that a Florida story just had to be coming. And you know if it's coming out of Florida, it can't be good. Well, this woman's name is Julie Edwards. She's 53, allegedly, years of age, where she was pretty much um, confronted on the scene. I guess someone made a call. You know, they said she was drunk or in heavily intoxicated and one of the cops that came to accost her was a black cop well this woman has some choice words for this black cop i'm going to go ahead and read the article coming from raw story so you can find out what she said a white woman in florida last week allegedly told a black police officer that the kkk would visit his house and burn crosses on his lawn after he confronted her on suspicion of driving while intoxicated now the fact that she even made those claims lets me know that she probably knows some clan members hell she might be one herself all you got to do is go to her house and see if she got a white robe hanging up in her closet then again you might not even have to do that just the fact that she even said that should be enough Local news station WFTV reports that police officers last week were asked to respond to a late night disturbance around South Montgomery Street in D Dalen, Florida. Let me know if I'm for my Florida followers. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that cor um, correctly. When they arrived on the scene, they found a 53 year old woman named Julie Edwards driving her car in reverse. Upon approaching the car, the officers detected a strong odor of alcohol. Edwards refused to submit to a breath test, at which point the officers handcuffed her. She then flopped to the ground and refused to get back up when the officers commanded her to stand. Oh, listen to that. Sounds to me like she didn't comply and that she resisted. You know, the same thing that they like to tell black people to always do, but when we do, we still get shot and killed. Yet this woman, that didn't happen to her, and she did the complete opposite. I swear, they are the most do-as-I-say-not-as-I-do type of people on the planet. While a black deputy was filling out paperwork, Edwards told him that the Ku Klux Klan would be seeing him in burning crosses on his property, according to WFTV. She also used a racial slur to describe the officer. She was subsequently arrested and charged with driving under the influence of alcohol prior to prior refusal to submit to testing, threat against an officer, and resisting an officer without violence. Hmm. Am I shocked that she said these things? No. Is she part of the clan? Maybe. Does she know clan members? Most likely. The fact that she even said that lets me know that she could have made one call. And that is it. I'm telling you, Florida is one of the most racist states ever. I swear, if it wasn't for social media, I would never know that. Because, you know, when it came to Florida, the only thing I was familiar with Florida years ago when I first and only time I've ever went there and probably the only ever time I will go was when I went to Orlando, and that was 19 years ago. Of course, at that time, I was a kid, so I wasn't really exposed to a lot of stuff back then. You know, I, I was in Orlando. All I wanted to do was just go to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Hell, I wish I could have went to Disney World, but I didn't have the time and enough money to do all of that. But seeing how Florida really operates, Florida is like literally like run like the damn old south it is more racist than some of the states that you expect to be extremely racist like the carolinas or or alabama or texas mississippi it's right up there with those states and probably more but y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments like share subscribe the links will be in the description i will talk to you in the next one